all right guys welcome back to another video anytime you say another and then that bang bang <laughs> you remember Mikkel star my out for my hey Mikkel star what have you people done to my wife what have you people done to my wife she has been watching your videos ah, now your banga banga is on is on is in her head oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm only saying welcome back to another video and she's thinking about banga 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 <laughs> because uh, if you are watching this video come and pay homage I don't like that come and pay homage come and pay your marketers come and pay tributes we are marketing for you <laughs> all right guys so um this is a conversation we want to have you on and we want to really know your mind on it we felt or we feel somebody has polluted our daughter. Yeah. Yeah, or I should use the word poisoned her. Yeah, poisoned her mind. Polluted poisoned her guys. mind. Yeah. And here is why. It was when, it was it was on Wednesday, right? No, it was on Monday when she was going to school. Monday rather. Yeah. Monday. Okay. So Monday when I was taking her to school. Monday I joined. She joined. So there's this particular turn we usually take before we get to, we hit the main road before we take her to school. So whilst we we're taking that turn, there was this little girl almost at her age, right? Because she was like she was also young. Yeah. So this girl seemed to have quite a, the same age with Ishira. Because when you see her, she stature and stature wise, she yeah, looked like it. She's slimmer. She's slimmer and little. Yeah. What we saw was that this little girl had carried water. A bucket of water. A bucket of water. water. Was it a bucket of uh, basin? No, a, bucket. a bucket of water. Quite a, a bigger bucket of water. I saw it and I was like, hey. I saw it and I commented, right? Yeah. I was like, hey, see, the, the, the mother has let this little girl to cross the road. She, she had see. carried water, fetched water. We went to fetch water from someone we don't even really know carried it and was crossing the road okay, and there was a car coming with full speed with full speed and i said say hey if the car hit this girl the mother will say she loves the girl but you've sent this small girl to fetch her and cross the street with it that was the time that was the yeah that's what he said yes and you said by now can you go and see she's not going to bath wash balls before she goes to school and all of that say, you know yeah. the thought for me on that was that one and the time she was carrying this water was quite early in the morning, like six something, okay. seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven fifteen there. That was when the child was going to school. Yeah, so seven around seven there about. The question was, if this little girl is carrying water at this time, mm -hmm. how many trips of water is she fetching? She's That's fetching one. Before she, go to before she go to school. So in that thought we were driving and I was talking to Franca, but sure I was hearing. And I was telling Franca that you see for the parent of that girl mm -hmm. they are probably giving her training mm -hmm. in some sense it's not bad mm -hmm. because probably that's all they could get or they have they could offer her yeah i get Abby, you know what i mean I get so that was what i said so what i said was that i've realized that in this life there are people who are privileged and there are people who are not privileged For sure. this girl might stand at a point where she she looks like she's not privileged I said she's not privileged. Probably the parent don't have to have a place where she wouldn't have to fetch water. There's water flowing that she will bath, even oh, use yeah. shower and all of that. Huh. So what I was saying was to Franca and even to Inshira that Inshira, watch carefully. You have no excuse. You have no option than to turn out a bad, a good girl, a good girl. but not a bad girl. Yeah. You have no option. You have no excuse because look at this girl. What she's going through, we don't know. The question I've been asking is that will she even get breakfast to go to school? But you is sure you are privileged to have breakfast to go to school. I mean that you, you, you even have to take breakfast. I don't want to take breakfast. That's what she is. Don't, you don't want to take breakfast. But in your school uh, item when we we're filling the form, they said we should give you breakfast before you come to school. The name of that thing. The form. Admission form. Prospectors. Pro yeah. They ask us all of these questions that she take breakfast before she comes to school. We say yes. So it is our duty to be sure that you take breakfast before you go to school. Yeah. 
and she's mumbling. No, 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 what is the chance that they will turn out good or bad? Or bad? So it, I was in this conversation and then whilst we were going, I decided I, I needed to have physical cash. So I just dropped by to drop, withdraw mobile money yeah. and then get her some cash for feeding and all of that. Apparently when I got down, she told mommy something. She asked me a question. She, she asked the question to her like, mommy, mommy, um, oh goodness, don't forget this line. I won't forget. She said, mommy. Mommy, is it? She did say, is it true that firstborn? She said, Mommy, being a firstborn isn't fun. And I said, Why? She said, Mommy, um, I is it? I learned firstborn suffer. Also, firstborn suffer, right? That was what you asked. Mm -hmm. What did I learned? What did you say? I said, Mommy, please, firstborn suffer. Mm hmm. And it's not fun to be a firstborn. It's not fun to be a firstborn. A firstborn suffer and all of that. And I said, who said it? He said firstborn, when you give birth to the other child, the second child or the third one, you don't pamper them anymore. You stop pampering them. You don't mind them. You you, you just um, give leave, all your, them. leave them and concentrate on the, the, new, baby. the new baby and all. And yes. That's mm -hmm. it. Why? We don't, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. Just that because the baby is so small and it's, soft, uh -huh. so it, the baby needs a lot of attention care. and care. care. But you all be trained the same way. So when she, as I was asking her, who said that to you? She said no. I know she doesn't want to mention the person who made those statements to her or said that to her for her to understand because, because. We, we've not had any conversation around it at all. at all. We've never said anything of such to in, her. In the house, there are no kids in the house. Exactly. Only her. And there are not even adults in the house. We don't live in such a compound house that Everybody you'll be hearing some said, adult talk about these things. So it's that she had it in school or the friends around her. And I told her, Ishwa. No, but but did, she, did she say she had it from school? She has not confirmed it. Ishwa, what did you hear it from? So how did you get come about this so information? I'm sure I'm sure it's a conversation she had with her friends. Like you know, like yeah, Kasa. I, I said she doesn't want to mention the person who said it. For us not to feel for, bad or for, something. For eight year old who doesn't who is concealing. <laughs> you can understand that. God. But but you see, the way she is you no, know, a time will come where she'll mention the person's name. If yeah. you know you, you know that. Yeah. She would surely mention the person's name. A bonus to her, she will come and mention the name. But she said all of that and I told her that you you don't wash weekends. We have a laundry woman who washes for us. When you you don't up, fetch water. You don't, fetch water. You don't uh, even sweep. The only thing when, when we say sweep, like no more sweeping. You know, like there's no giddy giddy sweeping. Uh -huh. No more so, room sweep or putting your things together, like being yeah. organized, arranging your things. Yeah. Those are the only things you do. We, like we, even washing your bowls, like once in a while. Because by the time you come back from school, we have eaten, we have washed the bowl, we have washed the bowls for you. <laughs> washing the bowls. Unless, <laughs> unless it's around there, we've eaten it. I'll tell her, go and wash the bowls. Then she'll go and wash it. Or, like, what do you really or, even do? Or when it's Saturday, she wash her back, and that's it. And then when it's weekdays, and maybe she would have to wear another uniform when she has dirtied it, we'll tell her to wash it. Because we can't tell you, we can't just look at you and say, don't do anything. You get that? Don't do anything at all. So, and I asked her, do you do all of this? She said no. But she washes her socks when she's back from school. And sometimes her uniform when she's back from school. And she washes her back. And I said yes. That's very important. We are training you so that when you grow, you will depart from me that you would want someone to come and do it for you. You will know how to do all of this. And we're talking, we're talking. And then he came into the car. And I told him that this is what Nishra said to me. And the first thing Victor said was, oh, what the person said, the person is a liar, because... No, yeah, because that is a lie from hell. It's true. Like, and that is, um, who? that is a corrupted mind and a lie from hell. And whoever said that, I, I told Inshara that I don't care whoever told that to her. Yes, I don't care, but the person is, 
it's an agent from the devil yeah, but like... because at this point in time how would you tell a little girl this information oh. how how did she come about this information in the you first place that. so wherever she came from she got this information from i'm saying that like the information is false the information is a lie from hell yes, yes you might have heard some things like this but we don't believe that we don't believe that we, we don't believe that this not at all so far. i actually told her that for what i know now where i am now mm -hmm. if whatever i knew uh, i know now i knew it then mm. and even i was a firstborn I'm, I'm not sure wish. my family would have i'm sure my fam family would have prospered yes i'm and sure my family would have been better to be a first boy. i would have loved to have been a first boy if yes. if what i knew now i knew it then yes i knew it and i'm a firstborn yeah. i would have wished and i would have loved to be a firstborn, firstborn yeah because i told her see it's a privilege to, to be, be a firstborn, firstborn. Because when you are first born, you, you came out into the world first. You might have seen things, you might have experienced things that, ah, goodness, you are an example to the siblings that come after you. It's a privilege. If your parents are in there, it's you, you are next. It's your responsibility to do they that. They look up to you. And you. And that is a, that is a, pr like, that's a pride. Say like, that these are a big brother or these are a big sister. Yes. Like, really. And it's not like you are. That your, 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 your younger people look up to you. You think they'd be joke? Because. What I, I understand and what I've come to understand is that when we have a firstborn, we, the, the little ones come in, we don't listen to our parents, so we listen to our big sisters and our big brothers. Yeah. That's like our firstborn, when they are in our demise of us, we listen to them because they become our parents our automatically. Parents, yes, because everything will be left to you, but even with that, you know, we've made sure, say, we are making sure, say, you won't go through all of this struggling. If you want ice cream, I buy ice cream for you. If you want to go to the mall and mm -hmm. I have time, we go to the mall. There are times, ah, there are times I do things for her, I surprise her without even her asking. You can imagine. On her birthday, on her birthday, mm -hmm. before I came home, even the day before her birthday, I came home, yes. I went to the mall, went to buy ice cream and biscuits biscuit and things. And I brought it for her as a first surprise. So that same day, we took her out to go and eat. Like, what pampering are you, are we pampering on you or not pampering you that somebody would have told you this? Like, yes. Whoever you, whoever you are, if you're watching this video, you, you are the one who polluted our daughter. Like, Please, like, keep is, your words to yourself. Yeah, keep not, whatever mentality or mindset you have to like, yourself, and keep it to your children, yeah. but not us, not yeah. ours. But, 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 but what at all would make a child have this kind of conversation with her friends? What at all would a parent be doing to a child that would give that child an influence and the, that child would influence another person's child where the child is getting all the privileges trying to grow and become a good person. That's why a lot of firstborns have grown to not have love for their little one. And they, they don't even usually, many of them, I don't know if you have read this book um, by Sydney uh, um, Stella, uh, what was the name, what was the name? Uh, Daniel Steele big girl no. there's no i'll get it for you to read okay. it, it, it was similar story how, how they saw the they they, they even mentioned that the first bone was a, a cake, test cake you know those mm. test cake. It, it really tortured the girl it's so serious like we the parent that we are home we never mentioned this to our daughter you we, we are not even doing it we are not even doing anything so why would some parents should know how to talk to their kids know when their kids should say some things if you are, you are maltreating your child or your child has gotten this information from outside it shouldn't be with um another child your child doesn't have to influence another child right see us it's crazy you see a firstborn who has made life but doesn't want to support his siblings why because she wasn't giving love meanwhile you were giving love ah you've grown see even then the most important part is that you even came out in, into the world first whatever attention that you be you be jealous for you've and envious given. for you've been given all of that when you were growing up and it's not like and and, and insura is eight years now yeah. you, you have been given all the love and care and attention ah when you say i should hug you i hug you you even come and hug me which one is that one it's which i should carry you i carry age. so we, we noticed that it got to a time where like when we are saying something it's like she frowned it's like she's acting up it's like the, what she thought she, drama and i was telling her about the drama thing i don't it, like the drama she, thing it was like she she was demanding for more attention until she said that then we noticed that no it's not her like it's it's some, what she heard it's what she has heard and what's getting to her so we just had to fast 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 i don't know the money that she was going to why, why, why would you give us work did we ask you to give us work no like 
So when we before she got to school, we we made sure we 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 cut all of those things from her, and we are still doing it. We are still talking to her because no, it's not right. It's a privilege to be a firstborn. It's a privilege to be a firstborn. We we, we are lastborns, yes, yes, but. <laughs> Hmm. We are last born, yes, but hmm. I believe it's a privilege to be a firstborn. First born. Because you have seen what we have not seen. So you are the best person to direct us. I've you are the seen, best person to lead us. I've seen a, a head of firstborns who have stood in for their siblings. Their siblings. I know a first... I don't even want to talk about it. We are going to struggle. We are not, we are not saying you are, you are going to struggle. or you are, you are not struggling. You are not selling anything from the roadside. Like... Me, I had to go and sell pure water. I'm the last one. No. I had to sell pure water for my mother when I came to Accra. You're not selling anything. And I, 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 I didn't... You're getting all the privileges. So why are people so evil and bad like that? I'm not saying the kid the kid is bad or evil. But... But it yeah, shouldn't I'm, I'm, be I'm, like I'm, that. I'm not even sure... Well, we, we just don't want to even speculate whether it was a kid or an adult. An but adult. what we want to say is that... Wh whoever you are... Keep your business to yourself. Yes. We don't want your business in our business. And parents should learn how to shut their kids' mouth when they are saying all of this, or when they are talking this way, or when they influence their kids with all of this kind of evil mindset and all of that. Ah, do you know? Do you know? They shouldn't say it to other people. Do you know? Do you know? Uh, so do you know the day we're going taking shower one time to school and then. That woman, um, my, 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 my mother, my mother's area with the son, with the son, and we picked the little boy. The, I'm sure he will also be like nine years old. That was in so. first, first day in school. Can you imagine that we're taking this child? We, you were privileged for, I don't even want to talk about it. We got you to drop you in the school because you're going to the same school, yeah. Then we we're just talking and then we we're like, oh, insurance fair this. So the boy, the boy was like, um, the teachers are the bad. The teachers are bad. Um, they act like they, they, they act like they are angels. In when when of you, in front of parents, when your parents leave now, nah, then they start acting bad towards you. And I'm like, who told you that? How did you? And she, he even said that. Um, he even said that uh, the school cry. He cry. Want to leave the school because the school is the school is expensive. I'm like, eh? Do you pay the school fees yourself, young boy? Do you pay the school fees yourself? Did you so, say, oh, did Jesus. You say, say, I didn't even say it. I told you that, no, you don't say this. Don't talk like this. That's what I told the little boy. You don't talk like this. She come to complain about her teacher before. She's rather always happy that she's going to this. Yeah, and she wants to tell us things she wants to give to the teacher. Like, you can imagine. Why do parents. Some parents. Get, why do some parents. You just stop me. I know, right? Like, the thing is really getting. Why do some parents do that? You don't talk like this to your kids. Sometimes she sure comes home and she says something like, um... Shit. Shit. And Where did like, you learn shit from? Did we ever say shit? shit? And I, One of the things we've, we've been working on in our house, in our home, is that when you come, there's no foul word. Yes. There's no filthy word yes. ever coming out of anybody's mouth. So you even, God damn, you know, we never say those things. Like, fuck, we never say those things. So you don't so say Even shit, because we don't even say shit. I've never said shit in front of her before. No. For you to come and say shit. So, so when she says it, we tell her, it's not a good word. Don't say it. She comes in and she talks and she's like, I. I'm like, who taught you I when you're speaking English? When you're making a statement or a sentence, I'm like, I think I. No, no, no. Since then, I've not heard her say it. I stopped her like three, four, five times. And I've never heard her say that again. So People. Can you imagine? People, we are fighting our own battle. Please fight your own battle. Keep it to yourself. Thank you. And man, don't come into our business like that. I no, beg you. Yes. De you, you, you. <sighs> Just try and shut your kids up, like it, what? You and you, to you kids, yourself, you yourself, shut your your own filthy minds up. Don't talk. Stop like thinking talk evil. Stop thinking that. evil. Stop talking they are evil. Kids. You are spoiling their lives. Nonsense. They will grow and they will never depart from it because they've had all of this and it has destroyed their mind. They are thinking a kid will just get to university and feel like, oh, uh, what my mom said and this and that and that. I wasn't shown love, so I'll be a lesbian. Who caused it? And then you will say. Uh, it wasn't the child though. who started it from the house. It's so crazy. Like the thing is really getting me now. So um, that is a little convention we want to have with you, and yeah. we pray that that this doesn't repeat itself again. Yeah. Because when it does, I'll be happy with whoever will say it. Yeah. Parents and, uh, should should try. And we are all learning how to raise our children. Yeah. We are all we are all learning. Learn some of us didn't get some of us didn't get that right training. Yes. And by God's grace, we have 
uh, done our best, tried our best to help ourselves become better versions of ourselves and want to help raise our children, then you want to add more uh, work. No. Who does so that? Parents no, should it's, it's unac know, unacceptable. Yeah, please. Parents should just know when to talk to their kids, how to talk to them, where they should talk, what they are saying to them. Parents should be very careful. Even the insult you you show on your kids have a lot of... Either, either don't be checking that and see. It's it's soon and soon and soon. It will be printing on the child. The child will replicate that same thing you have been saying on the child to you. Yeah. Then you will be more angry than you want to beat the child. Yeah. Who does that? Tame your own tongue. Bible says that. Yes. Bridle your tongue. Charlie, guys, I don't want to be upset about this. So I know I'm highly disappointed in, in, in whoever said that thing to her. I'm I'm like highly disappointed. And I wish it never happened, but it had it had to happen for us to know that Charlie, if this could be possible. Yes. So that we find a better way to go about it. Guys, I don't want to be upset. Don't forget to let your kids come home and tell you what is happening to them. In their school, schools, yeah. from outside, everywhere, so that the students go against you, the parents, and so so that sometimes we come because the Mayama will be in India and all what I've done for you, you still came out like this. Who it? Charlie, guys, thanks so much for watching, so and much. tell somebody about this channel, and yeah. uh, let's go together. We love you. You can add your advice. You. Yeah, on I mean, how we should continue with it and everything. Oh no, you know, so, you know, um, I mean, like for me. Anytime I'm driving here to school and mommy is not around, or maybe anytime I'm with her, we talk. Me and yeah. me and my daughter, we talk, yeah, sure. and we have conversations. And sometimes, you see, they are little children, and they will be talking. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So I've been told her that um, many times when you feel like talking and you want to talk anything anyhow, it's more like a solo quiet thing, but it's verbal. I tell her that instead of that, be saying I'm a child of God, I'm born of God, I'm healthy, yeah. I'm prosperous, I'm a leader. I'm a, so 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 I, I've been talking to her about this. So sometimes even me with her in the car. However, we are. I talk. I say it, and she repeats after me. Yeah. So like, like that's how we are doing our own. Yeah. So maybe you can also look at it that way and try it, yeah. because out of the abandon, abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So and it says that you are not different from what you think. Yeah. And your thought is what makes you say what you say. So you have to check that. Yeah. That's that's just my that's just my words for you. I'll check that. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We appreciate, appreciate it. And thanks for staying on this conversation. Yeah. And um. If you have experienced something like that, let us know and let us know how you deal with that. Yeah. We appreciate you. Bye. <laughs> I'm